Hello Linux fans, so after posting my video on Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE last night, we had a viewer who had a question about applets here. Um, I'm going to call them applets. They have various names depending on what they do. Uh, so basically, I have done this before where I have accidentally deleted the applets here in the panel and then had to go back in and search and figure out how to add back in what I was missing. Now in this case I believe it was the volume control and it's not actually called volume control. When we get in the list here you'll see what I mean. But you can sort these. It's very flexible. Uh, you can adjust these to the left and to the right and move them around, add and remove. And so we're going to step through that process and hopefully that will help our viewer out and maybe some of uh, some of you watching have had the same experience where you you know accidentally uh, or weren't paying attention or whatever and you've lost a certain applet or icon over here this will get you back hopefully to where you need to be there so the first thing you'll do is you'll right click on the panel go to panel preferences and you're going to see three tabs here display appearance and items and so the items is a list of everything that's in this particular panel here that we see and you'll notice too there are red lines around the panel and that's going to tell you that you are in edit mode all right so from there you can basically see the lineup of everything that's here starting at the left we'll see the whisker menu so that's our menu launcher and then you're going to see the show desktop icon right here so on and so forth and then these are launchers so these are basically shortcuts to various apps that I've placed on the panel. Then I've got a separator in place which is giving this space here and then next up you'll see Windows buttons. So, or excuse me, not Windows buttons, window buttons. Big difference. <laughs> anyway, so I've got those placed and then we get into all of the various indicators and applets. Now this big red one here, you're going to see that it changes when I actually remove the volume control and that's because of the spacing here that we have. But anyway, this is for recording for this uh, particular video now. So that's telling me I am recording. All right, so you have indicator plugins, notification area, and then date and time. It's actually indicator plugin that is, I believe, was missing for our viewer. And so I'm going to remove that out of the list by simply click clicking the X and that's going to remove the indicator plugin. You'll notice now that the volume control is gone and you'll notice also that the icon for Voco screen has changed and that's because of the spacing here. Um, it, it just changed the look of that icon. Now perhaps you don't like your clock in the far right corner so just to give you an idea of how that's going to work, you've got a control here on the right for moving that around. Now it's as far to the right as it can go, so I'm only going to have one option here, and that's to move it over to the left. Now I could take this all the way over to the far left if I wanted. So now we have our date and time over on the far left. To each his own here, but this is a really flexible panel. And it's kind of hidden away, so... Um, some people just may not be aware that this is even an option. So I'm going to put it back over here to the right. So we lost our volume control. And believe me, I have done this in the past where I just wasn't paying attention or, or was moving along too fast and accidentally deleted something. And it can be an issue finding exactly what it's called because you would think that the volume control would be called you know, volume control or something to do with volume, but it's not. So we're going to scroll back down to the indicator plugin. Now, if you hover over that, well, you actually you don't. You do not get a pop-up. Let's go back up a minute. I want to try something. So if I were to search for volume, see, it's not going to give me anything there. Maybe audio. Yeah, it's not going to give me anything there either. So that's where some of the confusion com could come in. If you accidentally remove something, you know, you're going to go in and more than likely look for volume control, for example, and you wouldn't see that or you wouldn't see anything that says th that says audio. So, all right, we'll go back to indicator plugin 
and add. Now you'll notice it's going to add it to the far right, so we'll go ahead and close out. And now we've got the option of moving that up to where it was before. So we'll move that over one more place. I think that's where it was, but at any rate, you get the idea. So this gives you lots of control. You can edit the current selected item. So here we've got some options now for that. You could arrange indicators in a single row. So we could click that, align left in desk bar mode, but we're not in that mode. And then you've got some indicators that you could hide. So applet indicators or the sound menu could be hidden. So let's see what arrange indicators in a single row does. It may not change a thing. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like it changed anything. But hopefully this will help you. Um, it is an area where, you know, you can add, I'll call them widgets. You could add weather, uh, places, you know, various tools, screenshot tool, things, things like that. And, you know, there's really a lot here that's helpful. Um, you know, um, we've got a clock there already. You could add action buttons. You could add an additional launcher if you wanted. You could have a launcher here and a launcher here. So, you know, really flexible and kind of fun to mess around with. But I'll caution you that you can uh, cause yourself some time by accidentally deleting things and not, you know, recording what the name is. Because once you go back in and you look for it, it's not going to, it's possibly not going to be called what you think it should be called. So anyway, just a word of caution there. So hope this helps and we will check you later.